this is something that has been a top priority of ours for quite some time. Uh, you know, my job is to promote the safety, the health, the prosperity of the American people. Uh, and that encompasses a whole range of things. It means that we're tracking down ISIL leaders, and it means that we're responding to natural disasters, and it means that we're uh, trying to promote a strong economy. Uh, and when you look at the staggering statistics in terms of lives lost, productivity impacted, costs to communities, uh, but most importantly, cost to families from this epidemic of opioids abuse, uh, it has to be something that is uh, right up there at the top of our radar screen. And the problem we have right now uh, is that treatment is greatly underfunded. The, the, and, 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 you know, it's particularly underfunded in a lot of rural areas. We, uh, our task force, when we were looking at it, uh, figured out that in about 85 percent of counties in America, uh, there are just a handful or no mental health and drug treatment facilities that are easily accessible for the populations there. You know, when I was a kid, I was, uh, how would I put it? not always as responsible as I am today. <laughs> um, uh, and in many ways, I was lucky uh, because for whatever reason, uh, addiction didn't uh, get its claws in me, with the exception of cigarettes, which you know, I, uh, is obviously a, a major addiction. Uh, but doesn't manifest itself in, in some of the same ways. When I show up, usually the cameras do too, and uh, it helps to uh, provide us a, a greater spotlight for how we can work together to solve this problem. Thank you very much.